Okay, let's do a problem and look at conformational isomers of cyclohexane. I'm going to take this 1, 2, 4 trimethyl cyclohexane where the methyls are all cis to each other and I'm going to put them on two different chairs, one leaning forward and one leaning backward. So I'll draw a mountain, valley, and then I'll do valley, mountain, not perfect, but okay. And then this is up, up, and up. So up, up, and up. Remember, at every carbon, I have to think up is axial. This one, up, is equatorial. At this carbon number four, up is equatorial. Now when I do the ring flip, it's in equilibrium. Remember, this is carbon one, and this is carbon one and then it has to go around the ring in the same direction. So up at carbon one on this chair is equatorial. Up at carbon number two on this chair is axial. And up at carbon number four at this carbon is axial. Now we want to look at the energy. The chair that has the more axial substituents is going to be higher in energy. So if we look, this chair right here, nice circle, I cheated, but this chair right here is the one that is lower in energy because it has two equatorial methyls and only one axial. Where this ring flipped one has two axial and one equatorial 